What's going on, everybody? So, more of my thought process has been going on over the last, probably about two weeks, maybe even longer, but I know I've been making it more public recently, is eBay is the comp monster out there. Everybody's using eBay as comps. Now, to an extent, if it's a high-populated card, it's not serial numbered and stuff, I could see using an eBay comp. So, when I go to a show... And I'm going to show you guys some different stuff in this video here. If I have a card that's comped at $100, people want to offer $80 for it. 20% of eBay comps. Their reason is, I'm going to only get $87 if I use eBay. 13%, we're going to say, comes off. Well, I kind of got that. But at the same time frame, if that state charges sales tax, we'll say my state's 6%. You're getting the card for 20% off of comps, plus you're not paying sales tax, and more than likely I'm including shipping on that product. So in a show, just know, you know, if somebody's coming off of eBay comps, they're doing it because they want to move the card. If it's a high-profile card, low population count, low serial numbered, something you don't see at any other table or you don't see at other shows in that area, you're probably going to pay more money for it because that person can hold it for as long as they want. And it's just going to all depend eventually on what somebody's willing to pay for it. But one of the biggest things that I find is people will go up here into this search thing and they'll type in, Let's use, um, well, they'll use, say, LaMelo Ball Genesis. I did a video on this before, where there was like 10 LaMelo Ball Genesis sold. And they'll say, look, you know, they're being sold at $2,400, $4,000, $5,000, whatever it may be, as a sold price. Now, one, if they don't have alt installed to where they can see what the best offer is, that's a big question mark out there. But let's say one was bid on by auction. Guy had over a thousand feedback on it. You technically don't know if it was paid for or not. So, I want to show you guys. You go right here on your little thing, research, right? Terapeak product research. Pulls up this. All I got to type is like 2020-21 Mosaic Lamello Genesis. Oops, Jenna. Was that right the first time? No, it's... I think that's right. And we're going to put PSA 10, right? Last 90 days. So you can see there's an average sold, all that stuff down there, where it was up to, look, a couple of them sold or paid for $5,800. Then we see a dip in the 34s, 25s, all that, right? So if you come over here, you could do cert by date, you know, there's the latest one. That's a National Pride. I believe that is the actual... Okay, that's the debut. Uh, this here should be the actual one. 202 $1,700. The only way it comes onto this Terra Peak part of the research is if it's paid for. The reason I know this is this how I check when I send stuff to DC Sports. You see all my stuff has sold stuff on. And I'm like, man, has this been paid for yet? I could take that whole title, pop it in here, or put the little ending code, and it tells me if it's been paid for yet or not. If it has, I'm like, hey, where's my money? Sometimes it's a glitch, whatever it may be. Learn to use this more than eBay itself, because this is showing the item was paid for. We don't know if there was a return on it or anything like that, but Terapeak's going to show what has been paid for. Now, this is only eBay. Okay, so somebody starts telling, showing me prices because they got a card that sold. They, oh, look, the comp was 2500 I start looking and I see it. Dude, that zero feedback, 10 feedback. I question it already on the bat. Then I look and say, look, the card was never paid for. You can go in Terapeak and search and look, it was never paid for. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know. A lot of people kind of have a feeling like they probably already know that, but they're trying to get over on somebody inexperienced onto this. But look at this here. The other thing is, is 
a lot of this stuff, like say this sold for 1700 right here. We'll use this one, right? You can go on whatnot, and I guarantee you it's not going to come close to seven. It won't even probably come close to 1500 They'll probably sell twelve to maybe 1400 Depending on who the caster is on whatnot, they might be able to get 1400 but they're still use, losing 11%. So there's a lot to think of when the word comp is used. We no longer have price guides out there, really. I mean, think about this, because when was the last time you've gone into a freaking newsstand and gotten a Beckett magazine, a Tough Stuff, sports card, uh, trader, any of that stuff? It's been decades. I know some of it's online now, but does it realistically, does the Beckett online price guide show all the recent sales in order to come up with the price onto that card? Probably not. You have this, you, you have eBay, you have whatnot sales that go on daily, and they're listed as, they don't even put the card in the title, so there's no way of knowing what that card sold for to reflect an accurate price onto it. You have alt that has stuff, and alt is, if you use that and come to my table and show me alt prices, I just tell you, that's only one aspect of it. You got my slabs out there that sells stuff and now ungraded cards on there too, raw. You have, uh, oh boy, all kind of other forums and stuff where stuff sold at all the time. You got all the auction houses where stuff sold all the time. You have other platforms out there. Nobody out there has something that's taken all that information to play. When you look at even VCP, it's been around for the longest time. Doesn't have all that in there. Card ladder doesn't have it. Market movers with all the funny graphs and everything into it. They don't have it. So use eBay with a grain of salt. If it's something like, I'll show you guys. Let me come back up here. We're going to use the 2018. Oops. Hands are on the wrong thing. Sorry. Tops update Akuna. I think it was an update. High pop count, right? $80 paid for. $85, $86, $86, $87. $86. I would say realistically, it's about $80 to $85 card just based off of that. What you offer, what you sell, what you pay for is on to you because this is a high populated card. There's a lot out there. You could gauge that card off of eBay, but if we're talking about a flawless serial number out of 25 and only one or two have been sold on eBay, but yet my slabs has sold one, um, one of the auction houses, another platform has sold it. There's no way unless you're sitting there searching for all that for as a seller. And be like, dude, check it out. You know, this also sold here, here, and here. We're not even counting Instagram sales, Twitter feed sales, Facebook sales, and everything else that's in there. Uh, there's a lot of sales that go on. It's not recorded anywhere out there. So be careful with always using eBay. It is the comp monster that I call it all the time. If it's something like this Akuna Tops update, I don't see an issue with it. If you're trying to get a general idea... Of what a card sold for I me. Mean, you could use 130 point. All that stuff out there. Try to find you know something even similar to it. But you could only get so far with all this out there. And like I said. We have no books anymore. Online price guides really. I mean we have the SMR or PSA. And Beckett has their thing going on. But we got real. Really I should say. Nothing that's taken everything into consideration. I mean, you see how much stuff sells for it shows and everything like that. Half these guys tell what their deals are for prices onto it and stuff. And things need to be tweaked a little bit out there onto that. But I want to try to cover this because I get hit with this so much. It shows eBay, eBay, alt, alt, eBay, alt. And I'm like, that's one platform you're showing me. Show me that on all these other platforms. Start doing searches onto it and let me know. Or I could, you know, just personally, a lot of times I scroll through feeds on Facebook, Instagram, and whatever. 
Or, you know, I just know somebody sold that card for this amount of money. And I'm like, no, I know personally it sold for this amount. And they look at me in shock. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, it's out of 25. It's limited. You know, somebody's going to pay what they want for it, you know. <laughs> but be careful with always using eBay or alt or just one plat one thing is always on the comps because nothing out there has everything out there. That's basically the message I want to come across. Plus, I want to make sure I reiterate, use therapy. Don't use the solds. Go on therapy. It's going to show what was paid for, and that's going to eliminate a lot of that garbage out there. It goes unpaid for to where people are just trying to set up comp values higher. Um, I'm sure eventually down the road, people are going to start paying for it and be with their buddies and stuff like that, and it's going to start you know, messing this up down the road. But for right now, we can use this to help eliminate some of the garbage solds on there that aren't being paid for. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. And if you guys know of any other um, places you could try to get a more bigger realm of what's being sold other than like 130 point, not watch count used to have it and stuff like that, put in the comments. Let everybody see it. That way they have a reference tool to where they can check comps in multiple places to try to, you know, value a card the best they can out there. All right, guys. Have a good one. Talk to you later.